Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code Zerk for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. to say i love that we get tuesday promos and today is weekly wild cards which are out by the time you guys see this video they're out at 11 this is not a 10 30 promo it's an 11 promo now, i don't give a shout out to saints man for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to shout out the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subbed to the channel turn on notifications below and comment down below noti gang also guys there is a new payout booster for the super bowl all you guys have to do is head down to the comment section use code zerk when you sign up on underdog fantasy it'll match first deposit up to 100 dollars and fill out the google form at the top of the comment section if you guys do so you are going to get a patrick mahomes payout booster special for the super bowl and filling out that booster form down below will also make you eligible for some future specials to come and as well my nba picks for today will be up later today over on my twitter so make sure you guys follow me over there last night another solid day my dad had 150 dollars halftime picks w i had 75 dollars in w's we'll see how we do today so let's take a look at these cards guys and then i will showcase them in the game and we'll open up some packs but as you guys can see today is the only gmm stream uh, of the entire week tomorrow we do not have a good morning madden stream but the super bowl part one will be revealed tomorrow night on the mcs stream at 6 30 p.m eastern uh, and then they also did confirm that legends this saturday these are the final legends so we thought maybe last weekend we're gonna be the last ones they did confirm that this weekend's legends will be the last legends coming but now let's take a look at the weekly wild cards we have today i already went over darius williams yesterday uh ltd 96 speed 98 excel 95 man 94 zone they did go over his abilities today 1 ap medium route ko 1 ap flat zone ko 0 ap pick artist 1 ap deep route ko uh but he's five foot nine so yeah five foot nine probably not gonna make my team uh let's go over all these cards though we have abdullah anderson as the heavyweight for 87s uh 90 strength 89 block shed josh uche for the rising stars of the 87s 89 speed 92 excel 86 finesse move uh we have the veteran which is Jakob johnson with 80 speed 82 strength 88 run blocking and 87 lead block and then with the standout russell gage 88 speed 89 catching really nothing really going on there with the 87 overalls now into the 90s heavyweight we have jermaine Elemenor. uh he has 92 strength he has 94 or 84 actually pass block and 86 run block on him mason crosby for the vets with 90 kick power 85 kick accuracy reed blankenship for the rising stars 91 speed 93 excel 90 zone 86 hit power uh and then sebastian joseph day with 85 strength 92 block shot, 85 finesse move 85 power move now into the 93s Deron Payne, he does get 1 AP inside stuff. Uh, he also has 91 block shed, 96 strength, 81 speed. Eli Apple, surprisingly, this card actually looks pretty decent, right? The speed at least, 95 speed, 97 excel. Also has 94 agility, 94 man, and then 87 zone, 84 play rec. Not the best, but I mean, theme teams, there you go. You get yourself a uh, burnt toast out there. And then Tyler Linderbaum, this card's actually pretty solid. He does get... I want to say it was 0 AP Polar Elite at center. He also has 89 pass block, 89 strength, and 90 run block. Uh, and then finally, Sky Moore, 94 speed, 90 catch traffic, 92 short, 90 medium, and 91 deep route running. Now, getting into the 96s, uh, as for my predictions, I think I went one for four. This is the one I got right. David Bakhtiari. However, uh, they went over his discounted abilities, and I'll be honest, not really all that crazy uh he does get nasty streak for one ap and then also he gets threat detector for i want to say one ap as well but they didn't say he gets edge protector or secure protector for discounted which is not great uh maybe he will maybe they just didn't go over it so check the card i guess on mutt.gg in a little bit and you can see the actual abilities maybe they just forgot to go over that one but he has 95 pass block 95 run block and 96 strength then we got anthony walker i said this is probably either jock or Dion jones and it's anthony walker 94 speed 97 excel he's six foot one 91 block shit 93 hit power and then he has 77 zone 
so he can't cover but he is six foot one with 94 speed 97 excel and then he also has zero ap lurker and we also have quan alexander with 94 speed 93 excel 90 block shed can't pass rush uh, i don't know what his zone coverage is and he also gets zero ap lurker also has zero ap no outsiders not a crazy fan of this card either and then the final card though once again the rising star is again the best card released Chris Olave. Now he has 96 speed, 92 jump, 94 catching, 92 catch traveling, 95 spec catch, and then the route running of 91, 93, 94. But what makes this card really good is actually the abilities, which I have to say I'm a little bit upset that his abilities are so good because this probably means that CD Lamb's time on my team is probably done because he gets deep out elite for zero AP, short in for zero AP, route tech for one, and short out for one AP. Now, I don't know what kind of combinations you can make there. Like, can you run short in and also deep out? Uh, both for zero AP. I'm not sure exactly which slots they're in. I would imagine you can probably run like short in and route tech, which is likely what I will be running on him. Uh, but I've been waiting for another short in elite player with zero AP uh, to go ahead and throw him into my slot because that's where I have CD Lamb right now. And CD's been amazing for me. I, I told you guys about this. CD, I feel like, is... Uh, one of the must-have cards in the game because that zero AP shortened. But Olave is 6'1 compared to CD, who is 6'2, and he's also faster at 96 speed, so a little bit shorter, only one inch shorter, but faster, and also gets route tech for one AP. You could throw onto him with that short in. Alave gonna be coming to my team and the wild cards are now live in the game as you guys can see we have Quan Alexander Chris Olave David Bakhtiari and Anthony Walker Jr. Maybe it'll nope it actually doesn't say I was hoping it would actually say right here uh, what kind of tiers he gets for his buckets uh, where you can add in you know the short in the deep out whatever but he does have 97 acceleration as well 96 change of direction 93 break tackle uh, and 95 juke move so Chris Olave yeah, probably going to replace CD Lamb for me, which is a little painful, right? A little painful. We got to get rid of CD Lamb on the team is what it is. Also, there should be some new solos. And then we also have uh, these packs in the game for weekly wildcards. So we have a 93 plus overall uh, fantasy weekly wildcard current week players. And I have to back all the way out to update this. Now let's go ahead and open up this pack right here. And then we'll do some training variety packs. Keep in mind, guys, training variety packs are not around for that much longer as you get 93 sky more and we get 93 overall eli apple i'll just go with the 93 overall sky more doesn't really matter too much was hoping to get a limited that'd been pretty cool uh but in terms of weekly wild cards guys there is no re-rolls we do not have any but we do have the weekly wild card packs uh, and that's it. So if you want to open up weekly wildcard packs, you can. But the LTD is in training variety packs. Of course, the LTD is going to be in training variety packs here. So let's go ahead, open up a couple of these packs here. You guys can see I am now below a million training points. I've taken a lot of my training and just converted it into these training variety packs. And the reason I've done that is because uh, obviously right now, like because I bought all my training super cheap at like 1.5 coins per, like 1.5, 1.6 coins per. Pretty much every single pack, I'm making a nice profit right now. And uh, training variety packs go away in two days. So if you want to open them up, now is the time to do so, especially when we have two. We have two limiteds in packs right now, right? We have the Darius Williams and we also have King Henry. So I feel like today is probably the day to go ahead and uh, convert your training points into these packs here and just take the coins you can get. Now, we don't know if they're going to be coming back in two days when they go away they go away on thursday all we know is that these packs go away on thursday they have not said if they will be returning like on thursday with maybe an updated training price or how it's gonna work we don't really know but i feel like it's best to just play it safe in my opinion and you know if you invested training points super early right you invested super early training points just convert them, man. Just convert them into these training variety packs and take the coins that you can get. Personally, I don't want to be sitting on a million training points. And then we have the Super Bowl promo, which obviously there's going to be some re-rolls with the Super Bowl promo, but they might not be that good, right? So personal recommendation, open up these packs right here as we get a rare strategy card. I'll do like this one and one more. I'm definitely going to be doing, I think, a training variety pack opening uh, probably tomorrow as like, you know, the final training variety pack opening that you can possibly do. 
And we get back to back. Was that back to back comments? I don't remember what the, the second to last one was. Let's go ahead and open up this last one here. I don't want to end on a common strategy card. All right. We'll end on a rare, I guess. Let's go ahead and see exactly what these cards are going to be going for. As you guys can see, the previous 96s are currently going for around 415k. Then you have Drake London, who's around 500. Uh, the new one, 600k. Darius Williams, a lot of him are being pulled. Holy, let's take a look at that. Uh, the Darius Williams market, yeah. A lot of him being pulled already down to uh, under 700k. As I said, though, 5'9", 96 speed, 98 excel. Uh, 93 change of direction, only a 60 block shed. He's just too small, in my opinion, to make my team. So is what it is there. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Those are the weekly wild cards. Tomorrow, we will have the Super Bowl promo part one revealed in the afternoon. And you have 48 hours left to open up training variety packs. And if you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.